All right, man. Sketchpad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. You know what it is. Also, make sure I hit the notification bell. I see a lot of us people are not subscribed. Subscribe, man. We're trying to reach 500. We almost there. We're going to have a party once we hit 500 subscribers. You know how it goes. And uh, we got a special guest on. You know what I'm saying? He's going to tell us about himself, but we'll be back, man. guest on um his name is p bills and he's going to explain where he come from what he do where he's his social everything we're going to learn about him today and we're going to talk to him and i'm pick his brain and all that good stuff so let's go man what's going on with you brother yeah first and foremost your boy p bills yonkers new york in the building you know um everybody follow me on instagram at p bills 313 to 914 I'm saying, um, just here, you know, I got, I got the YouTube channel, P Bills rolling up, the action channel, just, just doing my thing. Yes. That's so, about it. Um, <clears throat> so, it's good to have you on, man. You know what I'm saying? You are very first guest on here, um, on the sketch pad, which, which I'm honored because I see you doing big things. Um, what what made you get into this space, man? The reaction channels, the podcasting. What made you get into that, man? Um, I got I got into that space because um, that's just another side of my personality. Like, I always been like a dude that say funny things and have funny reactions. Just just being me, cause um, you know I was doing the battle rap thing, live battles, but I got sidelined from that because of health problems. But I still do the battle thing right now. Like I do online battles. Mm-hmm. Still do freestyles online because I love it. Yeah. And then after that, I was just like, you know what? Let me let me show my other side of things. You know, keep myself active with things. You know, not not let my health issues sideline me and just and just give up. Because you know, most people get down and depressed yeah. about what they're dealing with. I've never been that type of person. I just I shake things off and just be like, yo, let me let me keep doing. Yeah, that's that that's a great. That's a great mind state to have, and it's great. It's great that you 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 bring in that, and spread that, because a lot of people they don't they don't know how to uh, they don't know how to cope with certain certain situations, and you have this from from what I can tell, you have this this steel mind state. It's like it's like solid mind state, and ain't nothing gonna stop you. You know what I'm saying? Very very unique and very uh uh very um very inspiring. You know what I'm saying? From what I'm hearing, man. Yeah, definitely. I got I got to give credit to my um to my parents for that because you know they they raised me to be be a warrior. Keep keep that mindset. I mean, they never they never stopped me from like you know how some parents be on that. Oh, you can't cry at all. Like mm-hmm. you know they they say let it let it out, but you know you can't cry forever. You know you got to look for them solutions to keep it pushing. Can't be stuck on the problem forever. Yeah. That's exactly how I feel too, man. As far as like, like us as a people, man, we always stuck on just the same thing and you can be aware, but, but eventually you're going to have to grow. You know what I'm saying? And you got to move past certain things. So I understand exactly what you're saying when you say that, like you can't just stay stagnant and and become complacent. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. So I mean, so what? What was your? What was your? What was your battle rap name in battle rap? Who was you in battle rap? Oh my! My battle rap name is is, is P Bills. P Bills, okay. Who and what's you... and what's crazy though? Though I don't put the um, the dots between yeah. Bills. Bills is a is a two way acronym. The P actually comes from my real name Philip. Yeah. So that was easy. I just put the P there, and the Bills one day I just I just took Bills and I was sitting there, cause yeah. it's like. I like I like old school hip hop because I'm I'm well cultured because of because of my parents. Like growing up, yeah. I heard everything in the house from KRS One to all the R and B legends and all the gospel music. I came up in church too, so yeah. I heard everything. So everything to me had like a a meaning to it. So it's like you know how KRS One that means 
knowledge reigns supreme over nearly everyone. Yeah. So I always got stuck on names like that, like meaning something. So yeah. I always looked at the bills. I'm like, yo, I want my I want my name to mean something. And then one day out of nowhere, it just it just popped popped to me, like, cause you know, I like to like to do lyrics. So first, the first acronym for bills was basically I'm lyrically lethal, son. That was the first acronym. Then after that, being that I like to drop gems here and there, the second acronym is broader intelligence leads life safe. Mm-hmm. So that's the two ac- two way acronym for bills. Yeah. So you so you so you like Shutter Island then. You ever seen the movie Shutter Island? Yeah, and and in a way like that, I'll be on that type of shit. You like Shutter Island, don't you? I'll be, I'll be, I'll be on that type of shit. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I know. Mean, you know what I'm saying? No, that's 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 dope though, man. That's dope. Mm-hmm. I um I battle rap. My name is Funeral Man. You know what I'm saying? You've probably seen a couple of my battles. I battle a lot of big name people actually. No, I got, I'm I'm gonna definitely check out your work. I know, I've know, never I seen them, but I'm gonna definitely get to them. You probably don't notice, but I'm the Joker. You ever seen you the Joker? Battle? Yeah. Who who you who you battle? I battle Reaper Rail. I battled a bunch of people as the Joker. You probably didn't even notice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to I see that. Yo, yo, and, and now you've seen it, bro, because um, rem, um, on my channel, on my Bars Wrestling Media channel on TikTok, remember when I was talking to you that time and I was like, yo, this is my man's right here. He, and I had the uh, clip with him battling Reaper Rail and then a uh, 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 dude came so up. So that, that was him the whole time? That was me. That man. was him the whole time, yeah. Yeah, that's that true. Him, bro. I'm, I'm gonna yeah. have to watch the full two, battle now. That's crazy, right trackers. there. I got two verse trackers. I battle as yeah. Funeral Man. I battle as the Joker. Actually, I yeah. battle as he's Nick he's Nick. one. Of the, wait, wait. He's so that's crazy, one right there. Bills, like he's he's one of the very few <clears throat> battle rappers in our area that has two personas, like two, like alter egos. Literally has two alter egos. He has his regular ego as Freeman Man, and he has his other alter ego as a Joker, and he can simultaneously turn it off and on. And he's one of the very few that could do that. I haven't seen nobody do that. You know what I'm saying? So when he when he does that, you know, I'm, I'm engaged 110% because like it's, it's, a, it's an art. Like when you watch him battle, bro, it's an art. It's like literally watching a theatrical p- p- uh, performance. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how he paints it. And a lot of people are hating him for it because he could do that. Because they were scared to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And that's why I was like, yo, that shit was fire. You know what I mean? So I, I'm i telling you, man. And for, the, for our subscribers, yo, go check out Funeral Man's work, man. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Battle, like, they joined. Uh... I battled Shice Bra, Blitz Creed. I battled Blitz Creed twice. I battled uh, Reaper Rail, K Illa. Uh, I was like, I battled so many people, man. It's crazy. <clears throat> I battled so many people. I battled. I, I was supposed to battle two people in one night, and I actually had a tournament. I beat everybody in the tournament. I beat. I battled SG. I beat him. He's fire, and I got him out of here. LP Dane, fire, got him out of here. Um, who else that night? Oh, this boy named Easy Mac from Florida, got him out of here. Boy named uh uh, what's the boy name? Grips, grip, grip, got him out of here. I mean, like seven people in one night. Yeah, quite in, in the in the tournament was you was you switching between Joker and the funeral no, man? No, I just battled them as funeral man. I mean, I didn't even create Joker yet. Or I, I never, I didn't create Joker, but I didn't do the Joker until I battled some dude named K. Illa. So technically, I was the champion, right? Because I won the tournament and I won the belt. First ever champion. I still had the belt. When I battled K. Illa, I battled him as the Joker. I came with a whole... No one knew I was going to do this. Nobody. I just came as the Joker. The crazy thing is I had somebody else with me dressed as Funeral Man and with a mask on because Funeral Man wears a mask. So I, I had somebody, and they thought that was Funeral Man. So they we was on stage, and they like, we was, they like looking around, like thinking like, okay, that's Funeral Man. Then I started rapping as the Joker. You know bonuses? You know bonus? You ever heard of bonus? Yeah. 
uh, uh, Bonus, yeah. uh, Dre Dennis, all of them was there. They were always there. Everybody was there because they all from South Jersey. So everybody was there. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't, nobody knew I was going to do that. It was like, yo, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Like, if you ever see it, you got to go watch the Kayla versus Funeral Man, I mean, versus Joker. That was the first time I ever did it. And I practiced it for months, and I was, I was, I was on the fence about it. I'm like, oh, no, folks, you do this. You know what I'm saying? And I did it. And that's what happened. So, yeah. So that's one thing we got. Yeah, I, mean, that's, that's, I, like, I like you unique stuff like that, because that, that remind me of myself, like, before you know, I, I got off the scene of live battle rap and due to me ending up in the wheelchair, I was, I was only battle rap walking around with a cane. And like if some people thought that was battle, a gimmick, but I'm battle, like, what's the name I really, I really need the king. Did you battle at? Um, uh-huh. Did you battle at? Uh, what's the boy named Harlem? Harlem Green? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met you, bro. Yeah, I, I battled over there. I met That's you. What I told you, 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 yeah. you, you, you know Slug. See, Slug Anucci. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you and you know what? R I P Slug Anucci. I was, I was just looking at the only picture I got with him in my phone last That's, week. That's, that was my, that was my best friend. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. See, see I'll what, see, what, 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 what be, I'll tell you off air what happened, but that was my best friend, bro. Like for real. See what? What before? See, yeah. damn. I even. It's crazy. I forgot. I even. I even met you, like because. But I think I seen you battle. I mean, so sorry, sorry. Because you probably, you probably did. did. You had. A, see, see what I, messed me with my situation. I was, I was, I was in a coma at one point. So some things I'd be, I'd be forgetting some things. You know what I'm I forgot certain people I met. And it don't be on some. Some people get offended by it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Then you battle. Did you battle Something, a female? Huh? Did you battle a female that night? What's her name? Um. I nah, I, I never, I never battled a female. It was, it was um. I was supposed to battle a female, but that that turned that turned into an issue. But I'm not, I'm not even gonna bring up OG because that shit got hashed out already. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I mean, it is but right. I mean, my my battle career, a lot of a lot of a lot of derailing happened. I mean, I got to battle in front of in front of hip hop legends. Like I battled in front of my man John John the Don. Mm-hmm. I impressed him. I battled in front of Tate Rock. I battled, impressed him. I battled in front of Ty Law. Impressed him. The time I battled in front of Ty Law, Norbs was working with URL. Norbs, well, nah, Norbs fucked with me after he seen he seen he was at another event. Mm-hmm. Norbs fucked with me after. Yeah. I thought I'd probably get a PG, but then no, it's fucked up at URL. So, a lot of my battle rap career dealt with some shit getting derailed. Like, yeah. I battled that verbal war zone twice. I know. Footage get vaulted or, 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 or lost. Oh, that's crazy. I'm just like, yo, certain shit I dealt with in battle rap had me like, a lot of times it had me like, fuck this shit. Yeah. But then I, I do love this shit. So, yeah, it's, 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 I stopped battling. I went back into making beats. So, I stopped battling because I felt like, like, it's only going in one direction. And it's like, I put in a lot of work, man. I have over 40 battles. I, I, I mean, to battle as the Joker and, and to, to sound like him and to rap like him and write the bars that cater to him, that's a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, you know what? I'm not doing this no more. Because I have a battle league called Sig You. You probably heard of it. You know what I'm saying? We had a bunch of big names that battled on. That everybody battled on my league. But... And it, it just came a time when it was just like it became just too much. You know what I'm saying? And I just yeah. feel like like I'm just gonna just just do what I do here and just make instrumentals. It's just too much. But that's what's up, yeah, man. Shit, 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 shit do get annoying. I even I even dealt with some on online battle rap shit that was that was annoying. Like it's like nigga tell you a, a you gotta ha- have it submitted in by a certain day. You get a month and a half to so to prepare for an online battle, and then you still got excuses. It's like how the fuck you have a hard time preparing for something that's online, yeah. And you can record it in your house and just submit the video. Right. I don't understand it, bro. Right? Yo, yeah, people, it, yo, it, people it's are funny. It, people it, are so. It's fun. Go ahead, yo. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I said people, man. People are so. It's so lazy now, man. It's just so people are so lazy, and it's like you can give them the world, and they still want more. It's like, oh, you ain't give it to me this way. You be like, well, I just gave you the world. I know you gave me the world, but I needed the be- uh, another way. 
It's like it's I like, needed the whole galaxy. Yeah, I need <laughs> the galaxy. And then after that, I need the universe. And you're like, okay, dog. Like, it's so crazy that you that, that and that type of shit right there. Yeah, it makes me think about it makes me think about Thanos. People always wonder, yo, Bills, why you love Thanos so much? What what's your obsession with Thanos? I'm, it's like, cause I feel him. I feel yeah. why he wanted to wipe out half of the universe. Yeah. Because be y'all motherfuckers is crazy. Yeah. I, I'm, That's I'm, why I'm, I like Thanos. <laughs> wipe these niggas out. Some niggas got to go. Yeah. My we girl, go. my girl be telling me, yo, You're Bills, you wildin'. You got you to gotta stop saying shit like that. I'm like, no. In order for us to progress, a lot of niggas got to go. Fuck that. Dude, that's true, man. You know we got to talk. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you like Thanos. That's Listen, man. I'm a dark side guy, so this is that. <laughs> well, dark side is that dude too. I can't. I fuck with dark side. Yeah, I did, did, you know, we could we could sit here all day and talk about Marvel with DC. Like, I listen, bro. <laughs> we ain't gonna go down that road. <laughs> we'll be talking about that shit all night. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's good, man. That that um that I'm just I'm just happy that you have this 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 happy spirit about you, man, because. Battle rap ain't something, man. It's not something that you could, like, I already know, like, getting in that space, people get real disrespectful. People get real uh, aggressive. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, like, all for show. And it's like, oh, it's like, okay, yeah, it, uh, I'm trying to sell a fight. But some things people do in battle rap, it's, nearly, it's a little more than selling a fight. Like, I've seen people pull up people's dead family members, blow the picture up. Like, What? So how you feel about? Yeah, that's 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 crazy. I'm not I'm not even playing them type of games. You're not gonna do that shit. Yeah, how you so how you feel about the state of battle rap today? And do you think that it's actually better than it was five years ago? Or do you think it progressed? Or do you think it you know what I mean it uh, degressed or whatever? Now, uh, not gonna lie, I, I I did like battle rap way more five five years ago because it seemed like dudes wasn't wasn't really bugging out out of y'all now. It's like now it seems like more of a of a soap opera. I mean it had a little little soap opera shit then but now it seem seem more of a soap opera. But I can say it's starting to seem like it's bouncing back with certain battles that's being lined up right now. Yeah. It's like AR ARP is seeming to try to Push that soap opera shit to the side right now. I don't know if any of y'all seen the the mat what the max out three card is looking like. Yeah, y'all y'all it's, seen that? No, uh, I, I seen a few. I seen a few the uh, a few of the max out three joints. Um, I'm not. Uh, I didn't. I didn't thoroughly look at it, but I know. I'm trying to remember who's on the card right now. Um, I know the last battle. Man, I, I, I got you. Um. Huh? Go ahead, go ahead. What you what you gonna say? No, I said I know the last nah, battle you got I on. seen from from uh from ARP was the joint between Murder Mook and um and uh uh, uh and Big K. And Big K? I watched yeah, Murder Mook and Big that was the last joint I watched. I haven't you know what I'm saying? I'm a I'm gonna keep it a I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like I haven't been keeping up with battle rap as of late. You know what I'm saying? Um I had a lot of personal things going on with me. And then um on top of that, you know what I mean, like I also battle too. You know what I mean? Y'all know that, you know what I'm saying? And like after my last battle, uh, you know what I'm saying, I just ain't I just haven't felt inspired. You know what I mean? Like when was when was your last battle actually? My last battle was at, was against Nate Will, Nate Will, um, dude from um, he's from PA. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That was like my my last battle. That was like two years ago. You know what I'm saying? And I have, I have gotten offers to battle on bigger platforms. You know, since then, but I just I just turn them down, bro, because I'm not inspired, man. Like I don't like the state of battle rap. You know what I mean? And I put my th I put myself I put myself in a mental space and I put myself through so much just to appease a bunch of people that honestly 
that I don't even like, bro. Like I'm, I'm gonna just keep it real. Like there's a lot of people I don't like, man. I, I put myself through so much mentally to appease them as a rapper that I don't even like, and they don't even like me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why am I, why am I stressing myself with with my talents? to try to appease other people when all I, the only person I need to be appeasing is myself and people that want to elevate me. You know what I'm saying? So like, and, yeah. and like, and, and don't get me wrong. The battle was fire. Nate Will did his thing. I did my thing. I won though. I won. You know what I'm saying? It's in the books for me, W, but like, I just, I'm just like, you know, I'm just not. I'm just not. Um, I'm just not uh, focused on battle rap right now. You know what I mean, it's like one minute I want to, and next minute I don't. So it's like, it's it's about it's know. about the um, it's about your your self care first. Like that always, that always come first. And you know, like, yeah. and I'm I'm glad we speaking in the state of battle rap because I definitely just I gotta shout out the home team Yo, John John the Don. Like now this mm-hmm. this what got me more inspired because. Just seeing, I just bought the shit on on caffeine. Just seeing my niggas in Yonkers do their thing. I see niggas I know on the car cook up and mm-hmm. and get crazy. So it's like that got me like, yo, so I want to get back in the ring wheelchair and all and cook some. Cause I just see my mm-hmm. niggas get crazy on the car. So mm-hmm. that's like that got that got me hyped up to see something go down for my city. Cause in Yonkers you don't really get to see like. 15 minutes of fame come out here. Hip hop is real. John John even had um smack out here. One of one of my mans mm-hmm. managed to get smack number. So just seeing my niggas footage is is crazy. My man Philly Hayes got the battle Cortez. You know what I'm saying? So it's like Fire. when you see your people doing something, it gets you like it, it got me in my bag, like, yo, I wanna I wanna get back in there. Cause when I see my people's winning, I'm not a hater. That shit motivates me. That shit get me hyped. Yeah, Philly yeah, me too, skin, man. Right? Light skin, right? No, huh? the Philly Hayes light skin, right? No, nah, he's not like yeah, like light skin. He's he's Spanish. Yeah, yeah, he's fire. But you Philly, you, Philly you, Hayes, you can still you can Philly still you can still, you can still say he light skin. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying he he's 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 light skin. I didn't know if he was Spanish or not, but I know he was light skin. Oh, because I seen I, I seen him battle before. Skin. Dark skin. Yeah, you talking Again, about yeah, Philly, right? uh, Hayes. Philly Hayes doing his thing, you know. Like oh, my man, shout out to my man CNG Ty. He was on that card. Shout out to Quan the Rebel. He was on that card. He they yeah, did their thing. So shout out to my boy Taj Millie. Like you know, just just seeing my people doing their thing, that type of shit just get me, just get me hyped. It's like you know, certain things just gotta give you that inspiration. But sometimes you look at certain shit and just be like. Yo, it's a lot of weird old shit. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to fuck with it. And it's yeah, like, man. I, I realized that when I was when I was in the hospital, after after my situation, like, and I was finally just sitting there thinking, I'm like, yo, I gotta cut a lot of weird old shit off. Like when you sit back and think, you realize, like, yo, I need to cut a lot of shit off to maintain my peace, cause I'm I'm around a lot of shit. And in order to elevate, you gotta cut that energy out. That's true. That's true. So I sticking agree. with battle rap, um, I got a, I got a, another question for you. Um, who you think right now is unbeatable? Who I think right right now was unbeatable. Yeah. Mm. Unbeatable. Unbeatable. For me. And I know a lot of people don't like when I say this, but I feel like when he's not playing, like when he's really on his shit, yeah. unbeatable to me I is daylight. Mean. That's a good one. That's a good one. I think I'm going to tell you right now, I know this dude personally. He's going to smoke everybody. He come across daylight might be a problem for him. But easy to block captain is gonna kill everybody, bro. I'm gonna tell you right now. He's gonna smoke everybody. I'll fuck with I'll fuck with easy to block captain. And 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 like, and I'm not saying this because I know the dude. You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. personally. 
I'm saying because he's very gifted with writing and he's good. He's very convincing. A lot of rappers are not like that. Now, don't tell me, don't get me wrong. He took his, he took some L's when he was younger. Like he lost his waist ever. He lost to, he lost to, he lost bad to twerk. He'll smoke twerk now, but he lost bad to twerk when they, when they battled on gates. Cause twerk brought up. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, you know I'm saying, but that's before he had the aura. See, when you a lot of people gotta understand about battle rap. You could be the greatest battle rapper ever, but if you don't have an aura about you, people don't care how good you are. You know what I'm saying? Daylight has an aura, so Daylight could go up there and spit three bars that's trash, and everybody still they say you won because he has a, he has such an aura about him. Same thing with Lux. Lux could do the same thing. Same thing with a lot of these rappers. Mook, these dudes were. Easy just built his aura up. Twerk had that too. But he kind of lost it. You know what I'm saying? He kind of lost it because too many chokes and all that stuff. Um, but for me, Easy is very difficult to beat because he can play either side. You want to rap about streets, he can do that. You want to rap about streets, uh, uh, intelligence he could do that like he can do either side and he can do it in a way where the street guys will feel like they're smarter listening to him you know what I'm saying so yeah. that's that's who I would say right now is um, unbeatable daylight of course daylight when daylight's not playing it's, it, come on yeah, like if, if daylight, if daylight and easy to block captain was to go at it, daylight gonna be on his ass. Like yeah. easy to block captain gonna have to get in a a different yeah. bag for daylight. But I I guess I say that to say this, easy you know easy started his own league, right? Yeah, and he's putting together these cards that are like better than smack cards. And I'm this is a question I have for you. How do you feel about? rappers putting together their own leagues like big rappers like i would say big bigger rappers putting together their own leagues and smacking them blocking a lot of these battles how do you feel about that um well me um i see i see like both i see both sides of it i like the fact these bigger rappers are stepping out on their own and completing their vision that they see for themselves yeah but then I also see why Smack is on his shit with blocking shit because it's like if you sign on a contract, mm -hmm. you got to honor that contract. Like, don't try to be, you know what I'm saying? Because in business, don't you get what you negotiate? Now, if you know you already got a vision for yourself and you know you want to do certain shit, then why did you agree to a certain type of contract? Now, it's cool you got yourself out of it. But then you also can't try to get talent that um that fuck with Smack to be that's like really contracted to Smack to come on come on your shit. Now those other guys that know they contracted to Smack like that, they shouldn't be stupid enough to try to go battle over there on easy shit when they know Smack ain't fucking with easy like that. So it's like it's just a whole bunch of bunch of bullshit. That's why I like what Easy doing now with the with this other card he got, with, with, with he bringing back Philly legends mm -hmm. to go against New York niggas, he got like a little Philly card, that's fire. Yeah. Then to see Easy versus Geechee on Chrome, that's fire. Because if you look at Geechee, Geechee is the type of dude to, he does what he wants. That's why it's perfect. Easy and Geechee is battling on a card, I do what I want. Mm -hmm. Now that's fire right there. That makes total yeah. sense. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's like, just don't sign a contract knowing you got bigger visions for yourself yeah. and you don't abide by what's what's in your contract. I, and I, you want to break out of it later and do all this other shit. I will say this. A lot of these, and this is sad that this does happen, but I can't blame Smack for this. But I can kind of put a little bit of onus on him. A lot of times you got people who don't know no better. And they get taken advantage of. So let's say somebody like, I don't know, somebody like Daylight, not Daylight, somebody like, uh, I don't know, 
name a rapper, just a regular rapper. Uh, uh, sh- shades. Yeah, so let's just say a regular, regular dude off the block who's hungry yeah, for an opportunity. Block, right. And Smack said, come battle for me. Sign this contract. Yeah. A lot of times, they're looking at Smack as a real street nigga. And they're taking his word for it. You know what I'm saying? They ain't reading none of the contract. They're just taking his word that he, they believe him as being this straight up guy who's not going to do them dirty in the end. For example, my boy, my boy, and I, I'm proud to say he's my boy, is Adi Boom. You know what I mean, me and Adi Boom is real close. That's my boy. A lot of people don't like Adi Boom. Oh, he snitched, blah, 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 whatever. And that's a conversation we could have another day. But the point I'm making is, they had him in a contract and he broke his contract because he was saying he was only making $300 per battle when he had, when he had people literally trying to pay him two, $3,000 for one round. So he's like, so why am I going to abide by this contract? But that, that's what I mean. And again, I can't put all the onus on smack because as a business person, but most of these guys that they, they hire, they're not business savvy. They're just going off. Oh, he's a real nigga. And I'm a real nigga. And that's what it is. And that's the part that bothers me because it's like, you have to be upfront with these guys because you know that they're coming in ignorant to everything. They don't know nothing. So you, you need to tell them like, listen, you can't battle for nobody else, but us. But a lot of times they don't do that. They'll just say sign this contract, and now, first of all, what are they gonna really do? I mean, they gonna what are they gonna take you to court? You know what I'm saying? It's like my thing is like, and this sounds crazy, but my thing is like, a lot of battle rappers they follow the rules when they come to smack, but then they don't follow rules when they come to the law. Like you break the law, you speed, you run red lights, do all this, do all that, but you gonna follow the rules when it comes to smack? Like, come on, bro, what are you gonna do? Take you to court? Yeah, that's 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 insane. You got a valid point with that. What's Smack gonna do? Take you to court and and sue you for battling a three round battle on verbal war zone? Like, no, he's not gonna do none of that. He's gonna break your contract. You making more money somewhere else anyway. And that was the whole thing with Adi Boom. So it's like I understand exactly what you're saying when you say you know it's his contract you gotta abide by. But I also understand that it's like I don't know. It's like it's like. Mexicans coming, not Mexicans, it's like in, immigrants coming here from, from across the border. And when they get here, people hire them and they pay them 10 cents or a dollar for a wage. Not telling them that they could make much more money than that. It's the same thing that I feel about how these contracts are. You, don't, you know that they don't know no better, but you're still going to put them in it and still make them work for pennies. That's, that's crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, which is, that's crazy. That's definitely crazy right there. And and niggas do and niggas all the time fall for that 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 real nigga shit, but they seem to forget. You a real nigga, you a real nigga, but all these real niggas is considered somewhat thieves. And yeah. what they say is no honor amongst thieves. That's that's a hundred percent facts. There's no honor amongst thieves. So y'all gotta niggas gotta open up their minds. Like if you know it's not honor amongst thieves, why you not keeping keeping yourself alert? Because they so they've been to the sold, they've been, to, they've been sold a dream, that's why. And they it's like a it's like a, a woman in a relationship that know her boyfriend is doing her dirty, and she still looks at that picture like yeah he's one day he's gonna come around. That's how they feel. I feel like a lot of these artists they feel about the URL, like they're gonna make it on URL. Like some of them they battle like you'll never make it to URL. Not because you're not talented, it's because. They just not gonna hire you because you ain't gonna make them no money. And but they'll make it feel they'll make you feel like you could make it there. And it's sad. It's very sad. That's another reason why I stopped battling. I'm really good at battling. And I stopped because I'm like, this ain't getting me nowhere. Because I'm never gonna do a PG. I'm never gonna do a a, a a PG or what they call the other one. Um crucible. No. Crucible, I'm never yeah. gonna do that. Why? I'm I'm like rum nitty. I'm never doing that. If I'm battling on URL, I'm going to main stage. Simple as that. I'm not battling the, no, 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 uh, uh, crucible or the tryouts. Listen, man, I'm a grown man. I ain't trying out for nothing. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Like, I'm good at battling. So, 
But yeah, man. So that's, I mean, I, I understand where you're coming from with that one. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I definitely understand your point of view as well. So, you know, I just, I mean, just hope everybody, everybody get it together. But we know, we know that ain't gonna happen. We'll, we'll just be wishing on the star. Nah, you're right. So, what's, so what's next on your, what's next on your agenda as far as, um, <clears throat> as far as what you're doing as far as your, your channel, your YouTube channel, your reaction channel? What you? I getting mean, into? me, my agenda is just, um, you know, just. Just keep the videos coming. I mean, right now I just keep, I just keep posting them on um, Instagram, TikTok. You know, I gotta, I gotta post them up on um, my YouTube because I got, I got a lot of videos. I even got older joints from when I was in a nursing home, doing them just that I can put together as compilations just to throw up there. So I'm just gotta, just put in more work and creating more followers for my YouTube channel. For those who wanna follow the use to um, follow and subscribe to the YouTube channel. <clears throat> just type in P bills rolling up. I'll pop right up. You'll see me wheelchair rolling right into the screen, talking my shit. You know, I green screen it and roll right off. I'm not, I'm the only one doing that. Ain't no, ain't nobody else wheelchair rolling like me like that right now with the commentary. Yeah. I'm, I'm gotta, gotta be unique about it. So I'm looking you up right That's there. it. Then I, then I'm still pushing with the battle. I'm, you know, I'm doing some battles online. I don't know what my next one gonna be, but that's it. It's still gonna be freestyles being posted up whenever I feel like writing to a beat or something. Got something I wanna say. Yeah, man. Other than that's that, just tough, maintaining bro. my health and keeping my priorities straight. For sure. For sure, man. Uh, and looking at minor and looking up further monetize my own my content man gotta get these checks coming in all right we just... sure man that's what it's all about yeah. i honestly man i don't never i don't think i'll at this point in time in my life man i probably i probably won't battle for a very long time if not if i ever go back into the ring man i just feel I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? I don't like the politics. I also had to go through a lot, you know what I'm saying? I had to, I had to, I had to scratch and crawl. Like I told you, I had to scratch and crawl just to get respect from guys that don't even fuck with me like that, you know what I'm saying? And like, when when I look back and look, look back at all that I've done just to prep myself for those situations, man. I'm like, yo, why, bro? Like, they not, they don't fuck with me anyway. You know what I'm saying? So why am I, why am I wasting my time trying to be accepted by people that, you know what I'm saying? That I, I myself wouldn't even. We, we not of the same class. We not of the same space. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to elevate. You want to stay there. You want to stay there and hate on niggas, man. I'm not trying to hate on nobody. I'm trying to go over here. And you want to be over there. So you stay over there and I'm going to go over here. You know what I'm saying? And I've always been that way, man. And just like, it just comes to a point where I just was like, man, you know what, man? I'm done for right now, man. You know what I mean? I had to go through a lot. Like, I, I did I did a few international battles. You know what I mean? Online. I had to go through politics with that. Even though even though I respect the, I respect the shit out of uh, this one battle league in Ghana, you know what I'm saying? And you know, um I I I I that's still that battle I was supposed to have on that platform still leaves a bad taste. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and I still think about that like damn, you know what I'm saying? What what could it have been if that joint ever took place? You know what I'm saying? Like the, the car was done and all that type of stuff and just never happened and that joint pissed me off because because the guy that i was facing on that car you know what i'm saying he, he was trash he was garbage i had like three or four pullouts from the battle people that backed out last minute on an online battle bro on an online battle it was just ridiculous. She, she, is, de she is deplorable, man. Yeah, it was just ridiculous, man. So, 
I mean, you know, at the end of the day, man, I just was like, man, you know what, man? Like, I'm I'm going I'm gonna give it a rest. I'm gonna just focus on my music and, you know, content creating and podcasting with the bro and that's it, man. You know what I mean? Like I don't really I ain't got time for the I ain't got time for the BS, you know. Salute salute to all salute to all those leaks that I dealt with though, man. But you know what I mean? I'm yeah, you wanna you wanna fall I'm, back and do 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 your music. I mean that's yeah, and that's where man. I come from first. I come I come from the music first. That's why as soon as I get yeah. my own little mic and shit, I'm gonna create create some more shit. The last the last album I dropped was in 2019, man. I need I need I need to drop another one. I got I got I got more shit to say. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, um, yeah. So tell everybody where they can find you at again, man. Yeah, man. Let me I don't get this. You can find me on um Instagram P Bills three one three to nine one four. That's spelled P B I L L S. 313 to 914 Um you can find me on on X with that. P Bills 313 to 914. You know, gotta call it X because it's no longer Twitter no more. You can mm-hmm. find me on the Instagram threads, P Bills 313 to 914. The YouTube P Bills rolling up. Um I got my other YouTube channel, P Bills TV. That's where I throw all my freestyles up at, music videos. So you know we we here, man. We just keeping it pushing, trying to make things happen. Amen. I appreciate y'all for having me on the platform. Yeah. You know, I definitely gotta have y'all react to one of my videos while while I while I'm up here. I got I gotta get the in live reaction. What you say? For sure. Uh, yeah, so so look, um we got a lot to cover tonight. Um we got about we got a mad videos to do. Um we could have you on again, or you can give us a video. We could we can react to it, or you can, um, have we can have you on again to react to. Um, yeah, I definitely will give y'all give y'all a video. Yeah, give us. Yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't mind coming on, coming on again. Yeah, we'll send do him, another send interview. Video. We could set something up for next week. We could have you back on, and we could do that. We could we could react to the video while you on. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we definitely right, bet. we could we could definitely get it. Once yeah, again, I appreciate that's, y'all that's platform. Real, like, I definitely happy I'm I'm happy to see fellow fellow black brothers doing their thing, getting right, making yeah. making it happen out here. Yeah. So yeah, so definitely send him that video. We going we going and when with and sometime next week, we going whenever you free, whenever we free, we could do it. You know what I'm saying? And we could you could be on the line. We can react to it when you ain't on the line. We can do whatever you're trying to do. I'm done with all that. I'm going to definitely get in tune with more of your, um, more of your battles. I'm, I definitely got to see the funeral man and the, and the joker. Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll see. You'll see. But, yeah, man. Good to have you on, man. Sketchpad. Special guest, Pete Bills. Thank you for coming on, brother. We appreciate you, man. Thank y'all for having me as the first guest. Sketchpad Podcast. Appreciate y'all. Artists tune in, man. Show them love. You know, try to get yourselves an interview on here. It's a great set of people right here. Show love, you get love. That's right, man. Mm -hmm. Man, peace.